I'm here now. Okay, fine. Ben has decided he wants to be in the entirety of this video. So hi guys, welcome or oh, welcome back. Today we have very, very exciting news. Ben, drum roll it. T2 subscription box! Oh yeah. <laughs> and as of time of recording, no one has actually posted a review on this on YouTube. So fingers crossed, if I do this quick and I edit it, we'll be the first. We're so, super fast, super, super fast. fast. I actually received this yesterday, but I couldn't, I had to wait. Uh, <laughs> on the box, it says, rip it, to sip it. So, oh yeah. Oh. Do, 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 do. So our first look, we have ripped, and this is what we are looking at. So we have got, oh, actually a really nice postcard, and our book, and then here are our teas. So we have got, Ooh. hey there tea lover, you've just lifted the lid on something brilliant. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa, that's a pretty book. So you get, <gasps> for this box is more expensive for the tea subscription, but T2 is a little bit more expensive. We don't seem to notice the price as much because we first discovered T2 in New Zealand, which... We, 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 it's where it all began, the tea drinking began, it was very expensive, but the service in the T2 stuff just got us going for it. So we kept going in. And then here we are today, with a Welsh dresser with about five million teas on. 600. He's <laughs> being exaggerative. So in each box you get one classic tea, one wellness tea, taste it first, and a sommelier selects. Sommelier selects? Is that how you saw that? Sommelier? Sommelier selects. Okay, so our classic, which I don't actually have, but we do like. We do like, yes. Yeah, is the French Earl Grey. It's the only sort of Earl Grey tea you do like, isn't it? Um. Or it is the first take on an Earl Grey that I did like. I do also like Sookie's Lady Lemon Grey. I occasionally like a take on a grey, but the French Earl Grey from T2 is we a like winner it. for me. We like it. What is the next one on thing? The Wellness. So our Wellness is The Dreamer. And I'm a dreamer. I don't think we've tried do, do, do. this. No, nope, uh, I don't recognise that one. No, this is Rose Hip Lemon Balm Lemon Verbena. I always struggle to say rose petals, orange peel, sunflower petals, canola petals, hops. Isn't that what you get in beer? Yes, it is. Uh, valerian, valerian, val I never know if I'm saying that right because it just sounds like Game of Thrones to me. <laughs> Cornflower petals and natural flavouring. Oh, so it's quite a floral tea then. Well, it's a wellness. Oh, it so is, it's a herbal tea. It's yeah, a herbal so. tisane. So I, didn't, I didn't see that. So if you are brand new to my channel and my subscription box reviews, then we will go through the box and we will later taste. So this is just the first look. So our sommelier, 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 so our fancy people tea loving <laughs> taste is a Darjeeling second flush. Second flush. So Ooh, this is so just a black tea. That's not what that means. Yeah, I know. And the, what do they call it again? The Taste It First. So this is a tea that I believe hasn't yet been released to public. Is I like the sound the of it. The Apricot Jam Tart, which does sound really good. Apricot Jam. <laughs> it's like that program we're watching. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Apricot Jam. <laughs> we're about three years late to watching Humans. So if you understand the reference, Enjoy that joke. Uh, so this one is apple, apricot, carob, rose hip peels, white hibiscus, rooibos. Oh, it's a rooibos tea. Natural flavouring, sweet blackberry leaves, and melanin flowers. Melanin. Melanin. I thought it said it was a, a black tea on the front. No, it is a fruit tisane. A fruit tisane. But so it's got oh, rooibos in it. Oh, sorry, that was the. Uh... The second flush was a black tea. So we got 35 grams of our apricot jam tart, we got 20 grams of our Darjeeling, 20 grams of our wellness tea, the dreamer, and 30 of the French Earl Grey. Now, I'm gonna go stick the kettle on, make up four cups of tea, and we will be back. Bum, 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 bum. Boo! 
Okay, so our four cups up. First up, our French Earl Grey, which is a very nice deep brown colour. And then our Darjeeling Second Flush, which is pretty much the same colour, both blacks. Our Dreamer Tea is a very pale yellow, well not very pale, but pale yellow. <laughs> and our Apricot is a gorgeous light golden syrupy colour. Sipping, sipping the teas, take one. So while we are waiting for these to cool down, as usual, we will do the sniff test from both the bag and the cup. So in the same order that we had them in for the colour. First up, our French Earl Grey, which I was very strong will and I did not sip, sniff while I was making. It's got Ooh. that floral kind of bergamot smell that an Earl Grey usually has, but it also has like a fruity smell. Yes. Aha, it has got hibiscus in it. So the flavour, the ingredients for this is a black tea, natural and artificial flavouring, hibiscus, which is that fruity smell that I'm getting, the sunflower petals, rose petals and mallow petals. So the bergamot oil that makes up an Earl Grey will be in one of the natural or artificial flavourings. Probably also why I like it a little bit because it's not super bergamot -y. But from the cup, much mellower smell. You don't really get, you get a hit of the fruity, but I'm not getting so much of the floral. Yeah, it's not so much floral, I agree, but fruity. It just smells like a really good black cup of tea. The actual flavour profiling they've got on here is fruity, citrus and floral. So Sam's hit it on the nose there. Lips, see what I did there? Hit it on the nose. She sniffed it. <laughs> Next up is our second flush of Darjeeling, which um, in super style of me, I don't know if I'm saying right. I think I am though. With this one, I think I am saying it right. So from the bag, it just smells like a really, really good black tea, like super comforting. Yeah, that, that does just smell like, like really well-made black tea. You don't want anything super fancy, you just want a cup of tea and you want to feel good about yourself. That, that reminds me of being at that, that uh, tea factory in India, you know, when we were walking around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really well, Darjeeling's... I think it's probably hmm. here. Uh, local, ah. yeah, there you go. The west, uh, western regions of India, so we were in the western regions of India when we went to that tea factory. There you go, look so at that. So you hit the nose on the head? No, hit it under nose is what I hit said. <laughs> <laughs> and the smell from the cup, just a really comforting, smells like home, you want to snuggle up and maybe have a biscuit. If you are a tea biscuit dunker, I am not. Yep. I am not. You yeah, like to dunk I really, a biscuit. I really wanted to sip that then. Did the flavour profile? What does it say? Sweet honey and... Muscatel? Muscatel? No. Okay. Honey. Yeah, I can't smell that, but I'm, I'm sure... Oh, I get it. No, I, did, I didn't get so, it. I, say I, I honey, you read it. it first. Say honey to yourself and then smell it. Honey, honey, honey. To yourself. <laughs> I did, I said it to everyone. That's myself. <laughs> Whoever's listening, no one's listening. Well, I hope they're watching too. Mm, no. Not quite. Okay. I don't think it's there. And our third cup is the Dreamer, which we did do the ingredients for before. So the smell from the bag, oh, it smells, it smells like a tea shop, but like, yeah, tea shops don't smell like black tea, do they? They no, smell they like, they smell really, you smell herbally. Uh, and from the cup, ooh, very lemony. What else can we get out from this? It's very lemony. Le lemon peel, I would say, not actual lemon. So we have lemon balm and lemon verbena. It smells very different. Orange peel. It smells very different to the... Yeah, it smells really, really nice in the cup. Yeah, it does. Jar of potpourri. I, I wouldn't... <laughs> that's not correct. Yeah. Uh, you want to be in this video? Yeah, I'm trying to be helpful, I promise. <laughs> oh, you really spilled it on me. Not on the book. On me is fine. I put back. I think that smells a lot better in the cup than yeah. it does out of the bag. Ooh, and our final one, which is the apricot jam tart. This is exclusive, exclusive. <sighs> smells really biscuity. biscuity. Really biscuity. Biscuity? Yeah. Oh, it Ooh. Mm. Which is probably like the pie something. crust of the tart. Oh, that's 
Jesus, that smells good. It smells really good. Oh, it smells super, super fruity in the cup. And I have followed the instructions for all of them. They were all 100 degrees. And for the two blacks, I did three minutes. And for the herbal, I did five minutes. The jam tart, it does suggest three to five minutes, but because it's a fruit tisane and it's got Leave white tisane in it. Leave it in. The only thing in there that might not be great for your taste palette is the hibiscus, but because we've lived in Mexico, we give two hoots about hibiscus being in there too long. So I have actually used one of my T2 infusibles. Let me smell it out of the cup, see what we think. The T2 infusibles Whoa are a little bit more expensive. I think they're around 10 pounds each, but they are so good quality, such good quality. That smells super sweet. Super fruity, right? Yeah. Like jam. Like, like yeah. And uh, the flavor profiles we've got for this one is fruity, stone fruit, and sweet. Yeah. You've got a lot of information on the sommelier, um, the Darjeeling, because it is the specialist tea, you've got a lot of information in there. What does FTGFOP1 mean? Which, what? It is a Darjeeling second flush FTG FOP1. Sounds like you're like thrown up again. It's oh, the, the grade of leaf code. <laughs> and the apricot jam tart is a limited edition. So if you like the sound of it, keep your eyes peeled on the website and snap it up. I think when you it's can. gonna be delicious. <sighs> Whoa. Oh. I said I was starting without you. I, 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 I didn't realise that <laughs> you were already sipping. I, I, I sang it to you and everything. <sighs> Are you with it? We're recording. Yeah, uh, I'm with it now, I'm with it. <laughs> you know what this one tastes like, you don't need to try it again. I like it though, I do, I do. This, that, I, I really like it. I really think that smells better than the last time I've... Well, we haven't smelled it since. When we originally tried T2, you were so in love with the melon breakfast. He still is. But you could take or leave this. Whereas I really liked it. And we bought it in a big jar. I really like this. I really like it. This is unlike any other Earl Grey I've ever tasted. I do not drink this and think Earl Grey. I drink this and go, mmm, tea. I, th I seem to have, when, when, I'm, when I'm drinking it, I seem to have like this slight lavender smell almost. That's exactly what I was thinking, but I was thought I was crazy. No, I was just looking on the ingredients then. There it definitely is has got a la lavender aroma about it. But it ha doesn't say it's in but the ingredients. It's not bad, because I do hate, hate so the smell of lavender. There's a man just... Who are you? Just parked outside our house. We live in the country, we don't have people just park outside our house. <laughs> you can we're... tell that we're like, no, who the fuck is this <gasps> This is the YouTuber's worst nightmare. The camera stop recording. I'm starting without you again for the second time. I am sipping the tea again for the second time. Are you joining me? Yeah, I have two seconds. Right then, so now we're trying... The Darjeeling Second Flush. So this is just a plain black tea. And it just tastes like a comforting black tea. You're snuggling up. You just... It's a hug in a mug, basically. Hug in a mug. It's still a little warm. Why is it called second flush? Because it's the second picking of the leaves. Uh, uh, but I do want a rich tea. Donkey donkey. It does. It's a tea that you, if you were a biscuit dunker, you would dunk I, a biscuit. I would biscuit. definitely I dunk a rich tea biscuit in that 100%. I think it's got that smell. So next up we have our wellness tea. This is the Dreamer. So we, it smelt lemony. I didn't get the lemons really from it, to be honest. It's not bad, but it tastes like I'm being healthy. What do you mean you're being healthy? It tastes like a healthy tea. If you drink tea for health benefits, you will probably like this. It's not one that... Yeah, I can definitely see what you mean. Um, it's not one we're going to reach it, for. I think it's a little bit bitter. I don't think it's got a little bitter to it. It reminds me of 
green um, green tea as well, but and I know it's not, but it definitely. Yeah, I think, well, well, I mean, green tea is it. good for you. Like green tea is meant to be the healthy tea. Uh, I I I. It's not bad, but yeah, it's, it's, it's not our taste. It's not. It's not for us. I'm super excited about the apricot jam tart. I'm super excited about the apricot jam tart. No, I drink this. It's the Bon Sassy Mug. It's sassy mode. Are you ready for sassy mode? I'm sassy. I am sassy. You won't like it. What do you mean I won't like it? I don't believe you. Let me have some. No. Let me have some. Tell me what it tastes like. Tell me! You're being way over the top. It's, cause, it's probably because I've got caffeine in my body. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. It tastes exactly like someone took a really good apricot jam and then poured hot water in it, added a bit more sugar so that you could just drink jam. It's thicker. It's got a thicker taste. It's delicious. It I... tastes just like jam. Sassy mode. No more for you. Okay, you can have it back. That is a really good tea. Really good. Really yummy. And seeing as we've got some left, I kind of feel like we should taste it iced as well. We put an ice cube in it very quickly because oh, my legs are so old. I feel like this would be one that I would have iced or oh, as a cocktail. One big ice cube. Boop. Yeah, I could definitely see us making a cocktail at some point with this. What are you thinking? I reckon gin. See, there's too many flavoured gins out there right now. It's yeah, just... there, there's so many because it's good. No? Uh, I want to do rum. Uh, I think White I... rum? Let's not discuss this now. Comment below what alcohol you would either like to see or what you would infuse this in. Gin, gin, rum, gin, rum, gin, rum, vodka. Alright, iced. I really like this because uh, this is a limited... Is it a limited edition or is it? This is the limited edition tea. Limited edition surely means it comes out for a short period of time. Because I thought it was an exclusive tea. Which means it's coming out. But it hasn't come out in the shops yet. I don't know. Hey, bye. Can I have some please? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. That's really good iced. Mm. That's way better iced. And it was really good before. Oh my goodness. No, I don't know. I suppose it is very hot here today as well. And we have just drank three cups of tea back to back. That is way good. That's really good iced. Okay, so clearly that was a winner because it's gone. So if I was to rank these teas, I would say French Earl Grey first because I am a caffeine tea kind of gal, then the apricot jam, then our Darjeeling and the dreamer last because it's just not for me. It wasn't bad. I will say that again. If you like herbal teas, this is probably a good tea for you, but it's just not for me. What about you? I, uh, for hot teas, I would have it in the same order. But I would swap these two round if this one was cool, because that is the stuff. Okay. It is £20 a quarter, so you're only going to get this four times a year. It's a special treat to yourself oh, every month. season. No, it is. I, th I thought it was every month. That's nice. Yeah, because... Unless you're weird like us, people don't usually drink this much tea in one month. We drink lots of tea. How much grammage do you get from money? Uh, it is... It's obviously going to be slightly different every month every three months. So there's 105 months. grams of tea this month, which is a bit more expensive. T2 usually ranges between eight and 15 pounds per 100 grams, depending on the flavor. Yeah. So a French Earl Grey is one of their classic teas. This would be eight pounds per 100 grams, but I imagine the apricot jam tart as a limited edition would be 15 pounds. I like that, but you get that in the boxes. And it is gonna be a surprise every quarter, but you know your categories. You are going to get one of their most popular teas, the classics, you are going to get a specialist tea, something good for you, and something that's not yet out that will be a limited edition tea. And in that this case, it's not going to fall over. Probably not very good for you because it's naughty tea. I mean, it's just fruit. Well, yeah. 
It's got... If you don't put sugar in it like we do, it's just fruit. I suppose. So I would recommend this box. If you I fancy treating yourself, box. it's a good box. I like it. I, I, one of my favourite things about this box is it's every three months, not every month. I think twenty pounds every month. Um, oh, that would that would be a bit expensive. Yeah, I think you've done it right, Tito. I think you've done it right. You do most things right. We are big fans. Thumbs up from us. Okay, so if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more tea subscriptions, let me know in the comments if I've missed any or check back in my old videos. Maybe I've already done one you want to see before. If you did like this, please consider subscribing because it helps me out on YouTube. Bye. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Goodbye. Good night.